Now, this is the moment we all of us have been waiting for because we do know we have people who open up doors. We do know we have people who sacrifice a lot of times to open up doors for those of us who just arrived into the United States of America. If we remember what the Statue of Liberty said, and sometime when we come to America, we realize what was written on the Statue of Liberty is a different thing we're confronting when we come to America. And oh God, she's beautiful. She is a beautiful country, America. But sometimes America can be very, very difficult for us. We do know when we come here, we deal with several different things. We have language barrier. We have an unemployment problem. We have racist problems. We have all kinds of problems. But we bound ourselves together, we join hands together and trying to move our community forward, trying to be recognized by all. And I have to tell you tonight, it is not one person in this room which we will be calling pioneers. Is every one of you here a pioneers? You should give yourself a round of applause for that. <laughs> Gentlemen, you work hard to be where we are today. I just ask Councillor Yancy not to depart because he has another engagement. And we will come to the moment which we like to say to every one of you how we feel about you, how we care about you, and keep on and keep on on. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we, you're going to have to be patient with us. The reason is that is because we have many people who will be receiving citation, and we are trying to do it in the manner for this process to move forward quickly, but we might have to have a little delay, therefore I'm trying to warn you beforehand uh, to bear with us. Uh, before I move to the first category, there is a gentleman which his name was there, there is a slight oversight, and I'd like to acknowledge him because he will be receiving a citation. That's Captain Thomas Leiden was one of the person we had have there. Very quickly, the first winner on the category of family is <clears throat> Jeremy and Lucy Pamphil. Would you come forward, please? At the age of 26, Jeremy married Lucy Lucy, who was 24, and raised six beautiful daughters for better education, opportunity for his children. Jeremy left Haiti in 1968 and settled in Boston, Massachusetts. His wife came to join him in 1969. A year later, Lucy gave birth, of ten, gave birth to their seven daughters. Soon after, the six Panfield girl joined the parents and the youngest sibling in Boston and established the Panfield Nine. Therefore, it's a long, long biography, and I will not be able to go through all that. I like to call and I like to acknowledge, I like you to put your hands together and recognize Mr. and Mrs. Panfield. I said you're going to have to bear with me. This, it is a certificate of recognition presented to Mr. and Mrs. Jeremy Panfield, married in 1950, parent of seven daughters, in recognition and appreciation of your outstanding contribution to the city of Boston and its residents, January 2nd, 1993, Raymond L. Flynn, mayor of the city of Boston. Congratulations.
Mr. and Mrs. Pierre St. Louis. Mr. and Mrs. Pierre St. Louis come to Boston in 1967 from Akahe and Kabare in Haiti. Parents of four sons and four daughters, six born in Haiti and two born in the United States. Currently reside in West Roxbury. The children activities and community, owners of Nouvelle Creation and Malapan. Congratulations to both of you. And again, <clears throat> is a certificate of recognition presented to Mrs. Arenise Pierre Mike. Oh, excuse me. I told you we were, we're going to make some mistake tonight, but bear with us. Is Mr. and Mrs. Pierre Saint Louis married in 1959? Parents of four sons and four daughters in recognition and appreciation of your outstanding contribution to the city of Boston and its residents. Mayor Flynn, January 2nd, 1993. Congratulations. And the last one for the family is Mrs. Arenise Pierre Mike. She's a very outstanding woman in our community. She's a single parent and raised four sons, and we are proud of you, Mrs. Pierre Mike. That a certificate of recognition presented to Mrs. Arwenis Piermag, I think I repeat myself again, and recognition and appreciation of your outstanding contribution to the city of Boston and its residents. January 2nd, 1993, Mayor Raymond L. Flynn, Mayor of the City of Boston. Now there's something said, practice, make it better. Someone behind there called to my attention this is the wrong way to do it. Therefore, I'm going to try his way. <laughs> the next category is medical, and I'd like to call Dr. Roger Jean Charles, Dr. Nicole Prudent, and Dr. Jean Perez Nazaire. Come forward, please. Dr. Jean Charles, the city of Boston is very proud to present to you this citation. It is a certificate of recognition presented to Dr. Jean Charles, MD, in recognition and appreciation of your outstanding contribution to the city of Boston and its residents, January 2nd, 1993, Raymond L. Flynn, Mayor of the city of Boston. Congratulations, Doctor. Can I say thank you? Well, I, I thank you very much. I have had the uh, award from the uh, American, disabled American, from the uh, 
National High Blood Pressure Council, from the American Heart Association, etc., etc. But uh, this one is a special one because it has a mango, canasuik, warm, everything. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Doctor. The next person I'd like to call is also, <clears throat> she's a, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> she received two citations, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, and one citation from the mayor, and the other citation is from the governor. That certificate of recognition. Dr. Pruden, would you come forward, please? <laughs> the city recognizes you, Dr. Nicole Pruden, and, and recognition and your appreciation and appreciation of your outstanding contribution to the city of Boston is residence, January 2nd, 1993, Raymond L. Flynn, Mayor of the City of Boston. Congratulations, Doctor. <laughs> Now, <clears throat> we have Councillor Yancy in the background. He will be taking over from me in a few minutes because I'm losing my voice. But this a citation, and, and due to the fact we do not have any representative out of the governor's office, which is the state government. I just wanted to say thank you to every single person here, to the group, the Haitian Council. Council, uh, Council Foundation, who have uh, chosen me for these awards, and specifically to each one of you who have been very helpful in the kind of work we have been trying to do. I'd like to also recognize the people from my office. Uh, could you please stand up? They do an outstanding job. They are from the Haitian American Public Health Initiative, and they do give a lot of support to the kind of work that we do. Thank you very much. And the next recipient is not here with us this evening, but his daughter will be receiving the citation. He has three citations. And one I will give the counselor, Councillor Charles Yancy, to present that to uh, Dr. Nazel's daughter. Councillor Yancy, would you come forward? Commonwealth of Massachusetts State Senate official citation. Be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to Dr. Perez Nazir in recognition of his continuous and outstanding contributions to the Haitian American community. And be it further known that the Massachusetts Senate extends best wishes for continued success and that this citation be signed by the President of the Senate and attested to and a copy thereof transmitted by the Clerk of the Senate. And it, this citation has been duly signed by William Balger, President of the Senate, attested to by Edward B. O'Neill, Clerk of the Senate, and offered by Senator Bill Owens, State Senate. This is dated December 31st, 1992, last act of the year, 1992, in honor of Dr. Nazir. We're trying to move the process as, uh, as fast as we can, but those people deserve this. This is, again, another citation, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts William F. Weld, the governor, Angelo Paul Celusi, lieutenant governor, to Dr. Jean Perez Nazaire, in appreciation for your outstanding service on behalf of the Haitian American community, which is deserving of recognition by all the citizens of Massachusetts. This second day of January in the year of 1993, 
witness my hand and seal, William F. Well, Governor. And the last one for her is the certificate of recognition from the mayor. Is the mayor recognized Dr. Jean Perez Nazaire for his contribution and his appreciation to the <coughs> city of Boston in the residence, January 2nd, 1993. Raymond L. Flynn, mayor of the city of Boston. Congratulations. I'd like to say thank you on behalf of my father. The next person I'd like to call forward is, I think everybody in this room knows him very, very well, is Father Leon Jano from St. Leo Parish Church. Father Jano, would you come forward? The mayor take a great honor to present this citation and sign it. Is again a certificate of recognition presented to Father Leon Jano and recognition and appreciation of your outstanding contribution to the city of Boston and its residents. January 2nd, 1993, Raymond L. Flynn, Mayor of the City of Boston. Father Jano, congratulations, sir. Well, Eve is getting tired, so I have to take over for a minute. I would like to call on Mr. Gasto Simo. Simo Gasto, is he here? Well, apparently he's not here. Receive Mr. Gaston platform. So we'll continue. Mr. Eddie Dubois, could you come to the podium, please? Okay, let's continue. <coughs> the next citation is for Mr. the Reverend Vedrin Solini. Reverend Solini is not here, but someone else will receive the citation for him. Again, this is a certificate of recognition presented to Reverend Vedrin Solini in recognition and appreciation of your outstanding contribution to the city of Boston and its residents. Signed, R Raymond L. Flynn, January 2nd, 1993. On behalf of the uh, Haitian American Council, uh, uh, sorry, on behalf of uh, Reverend Solini Vedrin, I would like to thank the Haitian American Council to make uh, this day a great event. So I wish everybody have a happy new year and may God bless you. Thank you. Now this category, uh, we are looking for another winner with, uh, religion. in religion. Uh, this is Gaetan Jubwa, we're looking for the citation. But I'd like to move to the next. You want to come back? 
Mr. Gaetan Dribwa, would you come forward, please? The next is from law enforcement. And the first candidate I'd like to call to come forward, I'd like to call all the candidates to come forward, is Officer Franz Gauvin. Officer Franz Gauvin is a dedicated Boston police officer. He's a gentleman which I think all of us here knows work very, very hard in this community. Anytime there is something going on in France, always there. When we want to march, France march with us. When we want to go to government center and protest, France volunteers time to come down there and give hand. And of Officer Govern is one of the dedicated officers in Area B working for the betterness, for the betterment of our community. Officer Govern. On behalf of the mayor, I'd like to present you this citation, says certificate of recognition, presented to Boston Police Officer Franz Govin, Area B3, in recognition and appreciation of your outstanding contribution to the city of Boston and his residence, January 2nd, 1993. Raymond L. Flynn, mayor of the city of Boston. Franz, you did a great job. Congratulations. And the next officer. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have to know the law enforcement field, it is not like any other field. I'm not bragging because I'm a police officer, but we, those are the people who you will never see anyone walk to a police station to say hello because he likes to see a good looking police officer. The police officer deal with the thing the average people cannot deal with. And you can call a worse criminal, but when something happened to that criminal, he called the police. And the police officer have all come tools. And this officer is not here with us this evening, but I'd like to call his brother to come forward. Is Officer Spencer Orney. And Eve Leslie Oney, would you come forward, please? It's a certificate of recognition presented to Boston Police Officer Spencer Oney, Area E, in recognition and appreciation of your outstanding contribution to the city of Boston, his residence, January 2nd, 1993, Mayor of the City of Boston, Raymond L. Flynn. Congratulations. The next one is Deputy Superintendent Robert Johnson, called as Bobby Johnson from Bureau of Field Services. I would like to call Captain Lydon to receive that on his behalf. Captain Lydon, would you come forward, please? And recognition and appreciation of your outstanding contribution to the city of Boston's residents, January 2nd, 1993. Signed by the mayor, Raymond L. Flynn, mayor of the city of Boston. Captain Lydon, would you stay there, please? Would you stay there? Captain Lydon, stay right here. I'm not pulling rank. I never do that. Before I present this citation to Captain Lydon, I'd just like to say a few things. Captain Lydon is a friend of mine. And Captain Lydon has been with the Boston Police Department for 20 years. He never left the city, and he always worked in our community. He was a canine officer, 
is a former Vietnam veteran from the Marine Corps. <laughs> Captain Lydon worked doing, during the desegregation years out of South Boston on the TPF, Tactical Police Force. Captain Lydon claimed to the rank from, patrol, uh, from patrolman to sergeant, from sergeant to lieutenant, and now is the captain in charge of the district called Area B3 in Manapan. Captain Lydon, we congratulate you. The city of Boston is proud of you. Would you come forward? The mayor signed the citation and presented it to Boston Police Captain Thomas E. Lydon, commander of Area B3, in recognition and appreciation of your outstanding contribution to the city of Boston and its residents. January 2nd, 1993, Mayor Flynn, Mayor of the City of Boston. Congratulations, Captain. Now, af after this, maybe I'm going to have to, if you're tired to listen to my voice this evening, when you go to bed, you, you might dream of me. <laughs> you because I'm... <clears throat> The next gentleman I like to call, just feel comfortable because I feel very comfortable here. Don't feel uncomfortable for me because I'm comfortable. I'm telling you that. The, 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 the next one is I like this gentleman to come forward. I keep calling, everybody knows me by the name of Brother Eve because I'm brother to everybody because I love everybody as brothers and sisters. But this gentleman is my own brother. Sergeant Detective Dan Rivier, would you come forward please? Sergeant Dan Bouvier called many, those who know him and could call him Timano when he was a kid, and I call him Mano because he's my brother. But let me say something about Sergeant Dan Bouvier. Sergeant Dan Bouvier is a Vietnam veteran, serving the armed forces in Vietnam. Sergeant Dan Bouvier worked in homicide in the drugs control unit. Sergeant Dan will work all kinds of positions in the Boston Police Department. Above all, Sergeant Dan will also make history in our city. He's the first Haitian police officer who opened up doors for all of us to the 10 Haitian police officers we have today in our city. <laughs> Therefore, it is, I am very honored, I'm very humbled to present those citations to my dear brother Manny because without him we challenged the system 19 years ago to be the first Haitian police officer. I wouldn't be there. Orne wouldn't be there. Officer Pierre Verrier will not be there. Officer Orne, he's 11 of us. Without this man, I wouldn't be there. Brother, I love you and I'm proud of you. Now enough is that. Why didn't I call Councillor Yancey to read that to my brother? As you see, this is a family affair tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Commonwealth of Massachusetts State Senate official citation. Be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to Emmanuel Damdeville in recognition of his continuous and outstanding contributions to the Haitian American community. And be it further known that Massachusetts Senate extends best wishes for continued success and that this citation be duly signed by the President of the City Council, excuse me, by the President of the Senate, <laughs> the City Council later, and attested to in a copy thereof transmitted by the Clerk of the Senate. It's been duly signed and sealed. It's my pleasure to make this presentation to Emmanuel Damdeville this great evening. Not yet, not yet. Well, I'd like to say thank you to all, everybody to come. Thank you. Just, just you're not finished. Just, 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 just slow down. And, 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 and the next citation will be presented to my other brother, Brother Jack Borges. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, we are all brothers, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, uh, I think I got a citation on behalf of the governor of the Commonwealth, William Well, to Emmanuel Dambouville in appreciation for your outstanding service on behalf of the Asian American community, which is deserving 
of recognition by all the citizens of Massachusetts. The second day of January in the year 1993, witness mine and seal William F. Weld, governor. I know. And the last one for my brother is certificate of recognition presented to Sergeant Detective Emmanuel Danbeville, commander of the detective unit, area B3, the first Haitian Boston police officer for 19 years of dedicated service to his community and recognition and appreciation of your outstanding contribution to the city of Boston and his residents, January 2nd, 1993, Mary L. Flynn, Mayor of the City of Boston. Thank you. The next category is small business. We're going to start with Le Foyer Bakery. Mr. and Mrs. Edgar Etienne, will you please come forward? I think the daughters of Mr. and Mrs. Etienne are going to receive that certificate of recognition presented to Mr. and Mrs. Edgar Etienne, Le Foyer Bakery, in recognition and appreciation of your outstanding contribution to the city of Boston and its residents. Signed by the Mayor of Boston, Raymond A. Flynn. The next citation will be presented to Simbi Record, Jean-Claude Bernadel. I'm afraid he's not here, so we'll go continue. The next citation will be presented to Raphael Dorsey, Lovedo Motors. It's not here either. Save that. The next category will be for social services. We're going to start with Haitian Multi Service Center. Can someone come forward to receive that citation for the Haitian Multi Service Center? This is a certificate of recognition presented to the Haitian Multi-Service Center in recognition and appreciation of your outstanding contributions to the city of Boston and its residents. Signed by Mayor Raymond A. Flynn. On behalf of all the staff of the Haitian Multi-Service Center, I would like to say to all of you, have a happy new year. The next citation in the same category of social services will be presented to Mr. Franz Monestim. Mr. Franz Monestim, will please come forward. He's not here. And the next one would be to Raymond Innocent.
This is a certificate of recognition presented to Ms. Raymond Innocent in recognition of and appreciation of your outstanding contribution to the city of Boston and its residents. Signed, Raymond A. Flynn. The next citations will be presented to Ms. Newland Schirme. We have two citations for Ms. Newland Schirme. The first one is from the city of Boston. This certificate of recognition presented to you in recognition and appreciation of your standing contributions to the city of Boston and its residents. Signed by Raymond A. Flynn. We have one more being presented by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts State, State House. Be it known that the Massachusetts Senate thereby extend its congratulations to Neilan Chairman in recognition of continuous and outstanding contribution to the Haitian American community. I thank everyone who had picked me for this award, and most particularly my three children, because they have suffered a lot while I'm outside doing the good work with my extended family, the Haitians. Thank you. When we started this evening, I said it was going to be a long evening, and we realized it's a long evening. We're going to try to move the process. Therefore, it's no fault to anyone if we do not take the time to read the citation. We like to move the process forward. We do not want to bore anyone because we like you to have a good time, and so far we've been having a good time. Therefore, I will move the process quickly as possible. I'd like to call on, and the pioneer of education, Dr. Geddes Fleurin. He's not here, thank you. Mr. Claude Francois. He's not here, thank you. And uh, Dr. Turin August, would you come forward? And Dr. Chu and August have also three citations, one by the governor, one by the state legislature, which is the Senator Bill Owens, and one by Mayor Flynn. Thank you. OK. Uh, I want to, I'm very deeply honored tonight to be here receiving from the uh, Haitian American Foundation, the award either by the governor or by the city of Boston. So I want to, as Dr. Jean-Charles said, among the award and certificate of recognition I have received, this one is the sweetest. So, guys, I thank you. Thank you. In the field of government, Honorable George Jack Leroy is not here with us. Elsie Petit Frere. I would like to call Elsie, if Elsie is not with us, uh, Elsie's brother, Dr. <laughs> Don't shake your hand. Eustache Jean Louis, would you come forward, please? <laughs> This is not the ideal to move it that fast, but we have 42 people we are honoring this evening, and some of us have been here since 6.30, and I'm trying to move the process. In the field of youth organization, 
I would like to call forward Sonia De Roche and Sport Yvonne David. This is a gentleman, I don't know how long. <laughs> Yvonne, how long you been in Boston? <laughs> because I don't want to say it. Even we are proud of you. We have a celebration for Mr. David. In sport, we have Luc Mirtil, who's not here with us. And also, we have a friend of our community, Mr. Fritz Neff. And I'd like to, to ask everyone to pray for Mr. Neff because he's not feeling too well. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he had a little surgery, but he's doing all right. This is why he's not here with us. Oh, his daughter, the both daughters will come forward and receive that citation for the father. Next one. The next one is for the media. I'm calling a friend of mine, is Max Nicola. And also the next recipient is Jean-Claude Sano. Those two gentlemen has been working so hard to provide information to the Haitian community and I'm very, very proud of both of them on behalf of the city, uh, Max and Jean-Claude. Good work and keep it up. Je voulais remercier tous ceux qui ont fait choix de moi comme pionnier dans le domaine de la radiodiffusion. Spécialement à ma maman, Bérénice Nicolas, qui n'est plus, à l'infatigable courageuse Itesse Jean-Baptiste ici dans la salle, chevalier de la victoire, si je veux le dire, à mes collaborateurs et particulièrement les auditeurs de Canal Tropical. S'il y a une circonstance où l'esprit ne pouvant plus contenir sa joie, cherche une place à extérioriser ses sentiments, C'en est une pour moi aujourd'hui de pouvoir m'exprimer à un si grand moment. Je ne peux pas cacher la surprise ni la joie que j'éprouve de me voir consacré comme le pionnier dans le domaine de la radiodiffusion à Boston. Ce geste prouve qu'il y a autour de moi des gens euh, avisés qui suivent de près les efforts dans tous les domaines à s'effectuer pour améliorer l'image de la communauté haïtienne. En ce qui me concerne, je ne vais pas m'en accueillir ni croire que c'est une gloire celui de faire briller le nom d'Haïti partout où le pouvoir, où le devoir m'appelle. C'est là, mesdames, messieurs, je vous remercie infiniment. Je vous dis, moi, même en pile. Folks, I just want to say to each and every one of you out there, thank you. It's been a great pleasure. Oh, I get it, I get it. And the next person is Jean-Claude Martineau, and Mr. Martineau is not here with us. For entertainment, Fritz Felix. Is Fritz still there? Mama, this is Pierre Charles, would you come forward? As a matter of fact, I would like to have all the members from the Volo Volo de Boston, those who've been in the United States and Boston for a long time, you cannot tell me you do not remember Volo Volo. And Brother Charles de Saline, would you come forward? Jacques.
You know, even I want to move this thing forward, but, but it, is, it is so important. Because I remember when I got out of the service in 1971 and I moved to Boston, and, and I began to, to intermingle with the Volo Volo and Durban in my heart sense. This is why I have to take my hat off and to bow before all of you gentlemen. You make our community, you did a great job, and Volo Volo should live on, and we should keep it on. Congratulations to all of you. To Fritz Felix, I present this award. Fritz is my long, long time friend. I'm proud of you, Fritz. This is yours forever. Uh, to my great friend, uh, I could say my colleague, because he is a good saxophone player, Pierre Emmanuel Shaw, for, for the works he has done in Boston. I present this award to him with the, from the bottom of my heart. Congratulations, Shaw. Sometimes I say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Somebody qui me sort of parlé ça avec cousin Miola qui fait nous sentir nous fiers parce que me songe toute figure ça yo ça qui est jeune ça qui docteur qu'on y a ça qui ingénieur nous ça qui police dans toute bagarre business là nous te connait un petit problème nous te connait rencontrer chaque samedi que c'est la gaieté que c'est la sélec qu'on paquette l'autre fête de famille des qu'on fait et me souhaiter tout mon nom je conseille à voir nous encore merci beaucoup Je vais demander à Yvon David, s'il vous plaît, comme les qui dérapent avec Volo Volo pour venir sur le podium. Parce que je vais demander à Yvon de présenter Volo Volo. Ça. Parce que si vous ne connaissez pas, c'est Yvon David qui m'a dit que c'est un homme dans le poids. Volo Volo, là, 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 From the city of Boston in city council. Resolution of Council of Charles CNC, official resolution. Be it resolved, be it resolved that the Boston City Council extend its congratulations to Volo Volo of Boston Musical Band in recognition of its pioneering work and outreach to the greater Boston Haitian community. And be it further resolved that the Boston City Council extends its best wishes for continued success that this resolution be duly signed by the president of the city council and attended, attended to and a copy thereof transmitted by the clerk of the city of Boston by Albert L. O'Neill, president, and other signatures. I'll present it to Mama, Eddie Pede, and Eric, and Fito Felix, original members of the Volo Volo. The other one, the other one is from the mayor of Boston, Mayor Flint. Thank you. Tim, Tim, John Timo, en créole, tout petit. Raison que Femme Bataille nous nou décourage parce que nous presque fini. C'est parce que nous conseillons de monde en communauté, hein? eh bien, et pas monde en communauté seulement, non? nous conseillons de monde en général, même maman, papa, non? C'est le monde, ça, 
pas avec nous encore nous voir que monde ça a été une série de bagages importants qui fait toute communauté reconnaître monde par yo monde qui dans la communauté monde qui travaille dans la communauté qui fait me dire mais nous prenons une patience pour nous finir ça parce que ça a fait là son bagage qui est important parce que à soi moi moi visage devant que mes quelques années que me ba ouais et me content ça veut que mes écho ça m'a dit fait just bear with us just a little bit and please let we are a family let's 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 act like family let's 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 give me the moving the touching the loving of the family now let me move forward um <clears throat> for the civic association according to the citation i'm looking for anyone from the grand masonic lodge of boston is anyone here on behalf of the Grand Masonic Lodge? Mr. David. The next citation. This, we have different categories, like you heard this evening. But this, we have not come up with a category. And I think this is the first time the city of Boston give a citation such. It is just like all the citation, but what is important about it is because when I took those citations to the mayor and he looked at the envelope and he said, why you want me to sign this? Because the citation is for the outstanding citizen. And that's the very first time which I know the mayor signed a citation for outstanding citizen. And that I like to call my dear friend, my dear brother, my counselor, my, my advisor, where is he? Mr. Borges, Jack Borges will come forward. And the mayor had make a comment about this because he said, why wow, outstanding citizen? And I tell him a little bit about brother Jack. And he signed it and I was very pleased I like to read it. It's the same, almost the same thing. Certificate of recognition presented to Jack Borges, outstanding citizen, a gentleman who has devoted his time to improving the quality of life for Haitian American in our city. Jack, I'm proud of you. The city is proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you. And Brother Jack also have uh, the plaque. Before I present the plaque to Brother Jack, every person who receives a citation this evening will receive, some of them, will receive a plaque. We will deliver that plaque to your house because that's what we wanted to do is a plaque from the Haitian American Council Foundation Act and also the city of Boston present those with a citation. Therefore, you will be receiving a plaque, those who receive the citation. This plaque presented to Jack Borge, outstanding citizen, 1992-1993, in appreciation for your outstanding contribution and extraordinary achievement on behalf of Haitian American, the Haitian American Council Foundation, Inc. I like the president and the vice president to present this to Brother Jack. Jack, we love you. And the last citation is presented to the, uh, by Senator Bill Owens from the State Senate. Jack, congratulations again. All right, I'm not going to be long. What I have to say is so simple. We have created an association called Asian American Council Foundation. And our goals and objectives are simple. We want to help the Asian community. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to share something with you. When I came into this country in 1960, I didn't know 
what this country was all about. Because at that time, I after left Haiti in 1960, I came here, and this is a country that had shown me one thing. If you work, if you work hard, you dedicate yourself, you respect each other, I'm sure that you can achieve your goals and your dreams. I would like to paraphrase something that a mayor in Atlanta said in front of me. And these people who are close to me will always hear me repeating it, repeating it all the time. It says as follows. Every person who wants to succeed in his life must get the three Bs. Those three Bs are simple. First, the books. Because believe me, if you get the books, you might get, you might get the box. And if you get the books and the box, believe me, the next thing that you need is the ballot. Because the time is not too far where we're going to have people of Asian descent in the city council of any major cities in the United States of America. And why not? Maybe someday we may have somebody representing us in Washington because we need that representation. If we don't have any political clout, if we don't have the political power, we will never, never, never get where we want to be. Thank you very much. Well, again, be patient. We'll have at least two hours of dance. Don't worry about it. Well, the next citation is from the city council. And I'd like to present that to my dear sister, Kate Pere. Even though my sister doesn't live in Boston anymore now, she lives in Connecticut, but she was one of the pioneers in, the, in this community. And she works for quite a few years toward the betterment of this, of this community. I'm sorry, I'm, I came back because I, if I deserve that award again, I owe it to one person who is with me tonight. It's my wife, Mona, my kids, Mona Lisa, and uh, my son-in-law, Tuana. Please, take a bow, you deserve it. Uh, we continue with the next official citation will be to Miss Immaculate David. This is a citation in recognition of her outstanding and continuous contribution to the Haitian American community. Our next citation is to Mr. Russell Teodad. Is Russell here? Here he comes. This is an official citation from the state senate. We would like Danny and Mary to, to join to the podium, please. Is Danny here? Danny Tudad and Mary Tudad. <laughs> this, 
These two young ladies are also the pioneers of the Haitian American Council Foundation. Next citation is to Muriel Wome. Is Muriel Wome here? No. Okay. This citation was presented by the City of Boston and City Councilor to Mr. Wolzman Fizeme. Come on, come on. The next citation from the City of Boston and the City of Councilor for Claude Edouard. I'd like Pejano to come forward to receive this award for Claude Edouard. <laughs> this citation is from the City of Boston and the City of Councilor to Pastor Eddie Laguerre and also to Tamp Salem, Seven Days Adventist. Pedro Bois, you want to join us at the podium to receive this for? Well, we have one last one, I hope. Maybe two last one. We. Well, there's one guy who thinks he was going to get away that easily, but he's not. And this is Mr. Eve Dumbleville. Please come forward. Well, as you all know, Mr. Dumbleville works very, very hard for this community. He's also one of the pioneers of the Haitian American Council Foundation. We are very proud to present all those citations to him. Please, let applaud with him. Um, Eve Dumbreville also has um, an award as followed for outstanding efforts. You have accepted the challenge to soar above the world and to overcome barriers to success that would have caused others to falter and fail. You have been decisive where others have hesitated. You are recognized as a leader for your efforts. Truly, you are an inspiration to the Haitian American community. Please receive this award. You just tell me don't make no long speech. <laughs> I will not do that. But I want to say thank you to the Haitian American Council Foundation. And I want to thank all of you here. Because without you, without your support, without your love and your understanding, this organization will not be able to move on and trying to 
recognize the pioneers of our community. I want to say one more thing before. I'd like to recognize my daughter, Mukia Danbouville. Mukia, stand up. That's one of my daughters. And Brother Jack said early on, he talked about the three Bs. But let me tell you something. When I'm looking at the people in this room, I see so much power. I see so much influence. I see so much dedication. And I think we can lead this city. We can lead this state. And we can lead this country. Because if you remember, four years ago, we had a Greek by the name of Michael S. Dukakis, the former governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, who ran for the presidency of the United States of America. Therefore, it might not be one of us, but our children is the future of this country. Our children is the future of this city. And our children is the city, is the future of this great state. And I am very proud and honored to receive this plaque and the citation. And I want to say thank you. And I love you all.